Greetings everyone and welcome to the Hourglass. All right, so a bunch of channel messages today. I did have one camera fail and a part two to that. So it's a warning sign, it's a warning spread for some type of, um, it could be a narcissistic person or somebody that has a lot of learned narcissistic habits. So if you uh, resonate with that, do check that out today. And I'm hoping to get a better energy coming out. I want to see what's going on with love. Like, um, this could be for singles. This could be for someone that just newly started talking to someone or you made it official and it's like fresh. You know what I'm saying? So let's get into it. I am going to be standing up today because my camera failed already. So it already fucked up my coffee high. So I'm going to be just like chanking. <laughs> All right, so right away, I'm getting Blake Sheldon and Gwen, uh, that duet they have. Uh, what is that? I don't want to love nobody but you. What is the original? What's the title of that song? Well, big up yourself in the comment box, you guys. That's all I'm hearing is I don't want to love nobody but you. All right, I don't want to go down any other road now. <laughs> you know, looking in your eyes. What, what it said? If I have to die now. I don't want to love nobody but you. So, woo shit, you guys. That's like a wedding song, y'all. Some of you may be wedding planners. Shit, that's a good job. That's a beautiful job, actually. You get to put your artistic touch to things. That's beautiful. All right, so let's see. I don't want to love nobody but you. Looking in your eyes now. If I had to die now. I don't want to love nobody but you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> all right let's see what's going on this could be your energy to your person it's that deep huh all right let's see love what's the theme what's going on we have children wow so you guys may have like this very light-hearted playful energy i feel like the inner child and the both of you play really well together there's a sense of loyalty hey all right this person may feel like or you guys may come from the similar type of back childhood backgrounds, but I feel like you make them feel like a kid again and vice versa. There's a lot of big smiles. Again, going back to that Blake Sheldon song with Gwen, two different people, polar opposite, but you guys complement each other. Family issues, but family obligations or children could be getting, it could be a, a, a huge factor here. Maybe you guys have children from different uh, relationships and there's a like a anxiety of how to blend because you know maybe you guys have baby daddy baby mama drama as well and there's like a it, it brings like a gloom to you guys' situation all right I feel like your person may be very concerned about how one of their children may be um accepting the situation or there's gonna have a huge shift or a major change is gonna have to happen and this person is in it, it, their anxiety is like through the roof about that they may also be going through um an awakening with how their parents or their grandparents loved and i just heard my mama my mama taught me that so i don't know if this person has to speak to their parents about what they what they thought love was or what was taught about love and they need to forgive their parents about something that was misunderstood so i don't know if there was some type of violence or there was a, a emotional disputes or emotional abuse in growing up or seeing this and they now have to like forgive that part of what they saw or what they thought love was. I'm hearing, um, but you didn't say anything. Or maybe somebody felt like they were not protected as a child. And they have to like confront that part of their history. So they could show up or they could somehow. I'm hearing that they have to embrace their inner child. They have to be there for their inner child. Their inner child is calling for them to heal. This could be your energy. You may have passed that and because you guys may have shared like this connection, this person is going through that now. So if this is a higher level soulmate um, energy, whatever you heal, this person is going to be 
five steps behind of you with that all right so let's get some chakra cards you guys know i love my chakra cards we're gonna see what's the buzzing chakra between you and this person mm. i feel like you guys have like this intuitive connection so you guys may not talk about like every detail about what's going on behind the scenes but you could intuitively pick it up maybe this person has a way of channeling what they can't say to you so i don't know if it's in songs or you see um their name and it's attached to uh whatever is going on in their life currently and it's like unbelievable it's like you have like this invisible world you know what i'm saying so i don't know they feel really like light with you or you bring back this innocence about themselves that they may have forgotten because of this like really intense childhood thing growing up so i feel like they want to be a better parent if they have children they're being pushed to be a better parent than their parents as well they may be coming to the understanding that their parents was just doing the best with what they know so you guys could be cycle breakers i like that all right so if like patience is needed deep understanding is needed i feel like this person still has residue that they're trying not to repeat this is kind of like very deep emotional energy i'm picking up i'm getting like oh, tearing the back of my throat man my first camera fail today is messed up my coffee high yes i know my cart my deck is upside down it just feels more sturdy to the bottom okay so the buzzing chakra is self-esteem so this person may have very low self-esteem the both of you may have that in common you may have came from a very dark uh, childhood and it, it chipped away at your worth cause major pride as well to build up hey so both of you may be working on your confidence to show up for each other in this relationship so i'm hearing very soon or this is very a new cycle or beginning of a new cycle i'm seeing like easter and spring type of energy so i don't know <laughs> and we have money so money was in the first reading today as well so again learned behaviors from their parents about money so maybe their parents kind of like uh instill into them to get with people that have money get with people that are financially stable and have a good paying job and left love out of it left um compassion and understanding out of it so they may have been in relationships where was just money oriented all right that just had like this financial uh foundation to it and it wasn't any type of healing going on so they may be going through a huge transition and it's affecting their self-esteem so maybe they feel like the caliber of person that you are they know they have to upgrade themselves or upgrade um they have to go back and heal a lot of things that they learned so they're moving away from a defensive behavior. They're trying to be really bold, hey, all right? I feel like they're trying to activate their solar plex energy. So if um, they're doing like that healing in the solar plex, they could be trying to stand up in things that they felt very powerless in. So I don't know if their parent did some things to like shut them down inside and they feel powerless most of their life. And now, you know, whatever is going on between the both of you, it's pushing this person to step into their power, their own self-power. And having to heal deep with these core wounds, there's like a, a very fresh cycle of self-love, if you get what I'm saying. So you don't have to take my advice, but I'm hearing, please don't expect too much from this person because it's very fragile. And I feel like this person absorb a lot of what they saw so if their parent was not as nurturing or as touching or as supportive emotional supportive as you are they're trying to learn to appreciate it or they're trying to learn that it's okay this is this is how it's supposed to feel so i don't know if this person trying to impress you with money in the beginning or they're flashing some shit with some money or Trying to put on this facade that they have that finance and you're like, oh, okay, well, how about how you feel? Are you happy? Or you kind of question them to go deeper, all right? And they may be kind of shallow person, 
But again, with the solar plex, I feel like they're working on their confidence. They're trying to muster up the strength to give a good self-impression or even a genuine self-expression or image here, right? So let's see what their moods are. What are their core emotions about you and this thing, thing? So... I don't know. It's a lot of factors that's playing and they have a lot of things to think about or a lot of things on their plate that they really need to sort out. All right. But they're moving away from this wall that they may or this icy, uh, you may melt the ice around their heart. All right. So, but they love money. They may be very flashy into name brands. And you may be kind of opposite or you like more quality in life. So even though there's like a lot of bags here, you're like, okay, I'm looking for the best one that's fitting for my uh, life. So they may have had a lot of people that were into like, I'm going to get this money. He know, I know she and he has money. So, and you may be like, oh, well, that's good for them. I'm not really into celebrity gossip or who has what, what I'm really in about is what makes me feel good in life? What gives me, um, what, sh what you, you invest in things that mirrors good self-worth to you. So you may be knowing who you are, what you're worth, and you're reflecting that back to them. And they're like, wow, what is this? So you're very different to what they're accustomed to or how they were raised, all right? And they may be like, they want you to meet their mom or somebody that was very influential to them. They may even want to meet your kids. If you have kids or grand grandkids, they want to be all in your family square or something to that effect. All right. Some of you, this person wants to be a step parent to your children. Let's talk about it. Deep emotions or core emotions about how this person feels about you. Yeah, they feel a little confused. I kind of picked that up because they're trying to see how is this going to work. They know they have a lot of uh, wounds that they need to uh, heal and release here, but they're confused on how to even start that, but they're moving away from being defensive or closed off, all right? So that's that's kind of cool. That's the first step, all right? They may be kind of noticing that they have their mommy or daddy ways. I'm hearing Prince, why do we scream at each other? This is what it sounds like when doves cry. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. The answer is no. All right, so we're going to see what that noise about. So I'm hearing I don't want to be confused. They have a way that they want to go about doing things with you, but they feel like disoriented a lot because there could be a lot of low self-esteem behind a confidence exterior. How do they feel about you? I'm hearing no money. How do they feel about you? Ashamed? All right, so they let their dark side uh, take control here. I don't know if they did something that was very humiliated to you or they humiliated themselves by... They, they act or they react like a parent um, in their life, all right? And they may feel like you're the parent and they're the child or you're the teacher and they're the student. And they feel like they're always being punished. They don't feel worthy of you, my God. And we have grateful. So you may feel like money to them. You make this person feel like a hundred, a hundred bucks, a million bucks, all right? But they're confused about how to show up for you. It's like you're not, you're not impressed with money. And maybe that's all they know. So they're confused about how to get to you, how to approach you, how to move forward with you. They could also feel like um, every time they feel like they're getting somewhere, they end up at square one. I feel like they come up with a lot of different ideas and they like, no, 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 that's not it. No, fuck, no, I'm not doing that. No, wait, no, no, no. But they're very thankful about what's happening between you and them or what you what you taught them. They have family money or there's family money involved. And maybe they have like a parent that always watches what they do or always have something to say. It's like I'm looking over your shoulder. So I don't know if they have a parent or... 
they could have have they could have a parent that's always relying on them to take care of their parents so i don't know if they're being guilt trip into taking care of family members like i'm hearing oh i brought you in this world you have to take care of me before anything else or they constantly trying to impress someone a parent and it's never good enough so they come off they always felt unworthy of they just always felt unworthy even when they do something that's great it's not good it's not as good i can't seem to please you i'm hearing a lot of different things coming through you guys and i'm going to repeat it so if it's not for you it's not for you okay this may be just this person um it's just a it's just a whirlwind of thoughts and they could literally hear their parent talking to them even when they're not around so this could be plaguing them a lot they could feel emotionally abused or neglected and you may be someone that's very supportive or you talk to them very gently and it's like you're just so sweet you're just so nice i appreciate you but i can't give you what you want or i, I feel like i'm gonna have to spend the rest of my life making it up to you listen <laughs> So even though this is brand new, this person already sees that some, somehow how they were raised was not the best. And they really need to forgive or they really need to talk to their parents, confront them about some things that's troubling them, that's holding them back from moving on things that makes them feel worthy. We have two cards talking about worth. We have self-worth and we have unworthy. So their past or the way how their parents talk, treat them makes them very doubtful about moving or, or taking action here. And you know what? We're in the season, I think, um, Neptune, um, I think we still have uh, Capricorn and Pluto until October 1st. That's causing a lot of the collective to look at dysfunctional habits patterns people placing and thing I'm, I'm sorry you guys i feel like i want to belch we have 34 here or 35 it's a lot of conflict surrounding money and um what to give hey what to give to the situation oh child I feel like this person always needs validation for what they do. Let's bust down this terror and see what is going on here. They're, they're really into action and results. We have the emperor. All right, so this person may be a control freak. I feel like they let their ego um, manipulate them a lot. So this person may fall into a lot of ego trips. This person lacks clear vision and therefore their, their structure is kind of like what? But man, they want to be the number one person in your life. Maybe they had like a harsh masculine energy that kind of took, um, took advantage of their power. And they kind of learned that as well we have two of pentacles so this person may be going back and forth back and forth should i let this go should i do something should no 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 i'm keeping hearing no 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 we have the ace of cups with temperance this person needs to start okay so there's going to be a, a there's going to be a stop here a sudden stop i don't know if this person needs to seek counseling for some type of addictive behavior or um, for this controlling, I don't know, I'm hearing OCD. So I don't know if this is a clean freak as well or again, mommy dearest type of energy. Oh my God, I hate that movie. Anyway, there's a complex, a deep complex head and it's messing with this person's balance and how they show up for you. This is an ongoing cycle of ups and downs or it's an emotional roller coaster ride with this person and what to give to you. It's sad, but this person wants love. It's like the very thing that they want, they run from, which is love. They don't feel like they're worthy of love. Ouch. 
So with the temperance, passionate patience or patience is needed. There is a union here or this person is thinking about how to clearly come forward with a union with you. This could be a Sagittarius Aries combination where it could be that this person wants a cheerleader or they seek validation. They could be um, very pushy at times or bullyish, but they have a sense of adventure. I feel like there's a deep need for validation with this person, all right? They may have a lot of children around them or they're surrounded with children or surrounded with a lot of childhood memories. They love to be around children. Or it feels like this Michael Jackson complex, like they really didn't have a good childhood. So now that they're uh, older now, they kind of relive their childhood through children. For some of you. And I don't mean that in a harsh way when I mention MJ, all right, queens. I feel like this person has issues with flowing or there needs to be a flow here of balance between emotions and ego with the emperor and the temperance energy this person may be uh an explorer or they're exploring um their divinity right now or some type of vision that they have there's a clear vision here or there's a need for structure in this person's life and they're trying to be inspired to have more purpose when it comes to the both of you i feel like there's a sense of fulfillment or it feels like you bring like this calm energy it's like a sanctuary or you, you uh, i'm hearing like a safe haven this person is actually transitioning you guys the two of pentacles is very interesting because i feel like Okay, so what I channeled yesterday with the Two of Pentacles, let me go back to that. Uh, they're trying to balance obligations and responsibility. It could be that they're trying to juggle between the old life and what they have to do now. They're trying to, they're trying to concentrate on two things, hey. Or they're concentrating on two things, money and their children. Or money and family issues. They want something to be run smoothly here or to flow between family and money. But they're grateful that you're here. You're, they're grateful that you're still standing by their side or you're still around even though they're going through this emotional roller coaster ride. It's like thank you for still having my back. temperance energy this person may be hard to pin down or hard to settle down i feel like they're always exploring sagittarians like technology and more information they like to travel but they have like these habits that kind of like get get in the way here i don't know if this person has an addiction that they need to go to therapy or you're like therapy to them But they want to gain control of the situation. I don't know if it's with you or with their family. They need to gain control of their life. We have the four of pentacles. Not truly happy. They could be meditating about how to stop this back and forth energy. Because they feel like they're losing time. Or losing the opportunity to do something. I feel like they want some type of union or a family vacation. Uh, it could be a family vacation. But it feels like a holiday they want a holiday with you or you like a holiday to them. I'm hearing some J holiday. <laughs> Something about when the sun comes up. The sun is shining. <laughs> ooh, ooh. I can't get it. It's something about the ending part of... I can't get it. Oh my God. Ace of Cups, please. What is that? They feel like they were closed off to what you were giving them because of this turmoil they were going through. 
you guys may be like night and day or you like the sun they like the moon vice versa we have the king of pentacles so the king of pentacles has been reigning through and we have the lovers yeah oh, they think you're their soul matey yeah they think you're their soul matey you guys are polar opposite but you complement each other so well it's like you may feel like you need this person or they need you in their life but they have family obligations hey and i feel like they may be overextended a lot so this may be someone that's very family focused all right the lovers coming through you may offer a lot of moral support with this person you may help them to understand who they are they may also want you to accompany them on some type of spiritual journey we see here the lion and the the hawk or the eagle changed hair so there's definitely a transformation or transitioning with this person they're alchemizing some energy here so the more that they forgive their parents the more that they're um able to loosen a grip on control issues this person has a, a control issues could be around their children um, they're trying to control or get a grasp on their own emotions and their ego head you help them to do that there's a lot of potential um, a lot of infinity energy so I don't know if they feel like this love supersedes their problems or melt their problems head Cupid is hair as well. I heard I'm a sharp shooter. Somebody's a sharp shooter. They're struggling to take ownership or to make a decision with the lovers and the emperor and confused. So there's a major decision. I don't know if they have to choose between family and you or family money and you. But they feel extremely unworthy they don't feel like they're capable to make this decision alone. And they may feel like they're running out of time. This person could have been very shallow, all right? And they missed an opportunity. We have Cancer, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Scorpio, Pisces, and Sagittarian. Oh, man. They're hesitant to come to elevate they may be hesitant to tap into their feminine energies as well they have like this distorted energy of of the feminine maybe they feel all women want is money all women want to to is be taken care of and that may you may have shown them differently oh you like a breath of fresh air you may be they may think like you're an, a fictional character what the fuck is that <laughs> you're like the great mother or you remind them of a great mother very interesting energy they're alchemizing their attitude so if they're this emperor's energy they may have been misusing this life force and they're trying to alchemize that maybe come a little softer a little softer approach why is that no there they feel like they can't have you or they can't have this until they clean up their wounds or they can't have you because they have no money so they're gonna miss an opportunity or that's this is the past uh situation they couldn't make up their mind so the, some they dropped the ball either with you uh, what is going on here oh they're understanding some stuff about themselves a deep oh you guys this person is starting to understand a deeper understanding about themselves we have some self-love going on here so you're helping this person to alchemize possibly the confusion and the unworthiness within themselves they're sitting alone and they're thinking about they could be thinking about marriage or having this partnership in this spiritual journey mm -mm -mm. what is going on here they want they they meditate about how to if this is a past person they're meditating on how to bring union it's not over yet yeah it's not over yet so for some of you if this person were too confused to choose you or to make very important decisions in you guys' connection. 
and you may have moved on because I feel like somebody closed the door on this situation, even though it's a little bit of hope. It's not over for you, meaning that you may find somebody that's a little bit more on your um in your alignment. Could be a king of pentacles. So you may be moving on from could be your divine masculine because you see that they're really confused about what they want, but it's not over for you. You may meet a king of pentacles. That's going to offer you uh, a new emotional beginning. And that has money or have something that's established. This could be an entrepreneur or a business person that wants to protect and provide for you. While your divine masculine uh, work through or iron out some stuff about themselves. Hey, So this may be your energy as well. Um, you may have had to make an important decision between two people. It says pay attention so that could be pay attention to the red flags we have energy block so yeah some of you may this may be a twin flame situation where you guys have to like lovingly detach from this person because they're going through a very deep transitioning um, they're trying to change out a lot of their behaviors and attitude towards an up and down you know, one minute they know what they want, the next minute they don't, and they confuse you because they're confused. They're not really happy with the situations in their life right now, all right? And they could be leaning on um, a lot of outdated beliefs about themselves, and they just need to be alone. I'm here sitting alone. They could be wondering if you have moved on with somebody that has money or that's well-established that could protect you or keep you safe. Increased money has been coming up twice on this channel. And we have new lifestyle. Yeah. So some of them could be worried uh, because you may have blocked your energy because this person has been absent in your life a little bit too long. And they feel like they missed a beautiful opportunity with you because there was too much emotional um, up and downness. They, they couldn't decide if they want to commit or not. But they know that you're their true love, all right? And they may feel like, you know, you deserve to go and have this new lifestyle. You deserve that. They could be putting on a very prideful exterior because they're hurt. They have to deal with family. And they could be just feeling like, I hope that you're okay. I'm hearing do what's best for your children do what's best for your children i feel like for some of you this may be your divine masculine that you have kids with and you had to like really separate yourself from this person because they were causing you a lot of emotional uh turmoil they could have been ripping and running in some type of other business or other lifestyle and they couldn't decide they didn't want to decide i heard um holding space while they release some old emotions hey somebody's changing their career somebody's changing their career path or how they make money so new lifestyle who this so i don't know if this you know if this is your divine masculine i feel like they're going to let you go, but they're not happy about that. They're, it's like they're going to let you go, but come back. Because it's not over for them, but they know they have to upgrade. But they're very grateful. They're blessed that you brought this love that they could not accept for some of you. But it's like with the Four of Cups, they, they want a reconciliation. They want a recommitment, hey. Or they know it's going to be a reconnection. This person knows that. And they're, it, they're, it's not like they're okay that you're dating someone or you're moving on. But it's they need to know that you're taken care of. So I don't know if this person is very understanding. Or they know that they really screwed up and messed up. And they lost the opportunity. And they feel like they deserve that. You're you're in my dreams, telepathic communication. So even though you guys are not talking, 
they still have visions about you they kind of like vision you guys meeting again and coming back in each other's lives and having this they know you're their soulmates i don't know if they're kind of like cocky about that they had confirmation that you are their higher level soulmate or their twin flame so eventually eventually yeah tell me more so they know you guys have telepathic communication together meets forever yeah they know you're their destiny <laughs> but they're just not stable enough to accept you but they want you to be happy there's two men here two masculine energies so even if it's female they're in this masculine energies all right so they could be and if, if if you have not moved away this person is working on becoming the king of pentacles coming out of this pretending to be the emperor their clothes were too big so they were they were putting on a facade all right of something that they were not because they had low confidence and i feel like it caught up with them it showed when they keep missing the ball or they didn't they didn't choose you or they wasn't making they didn't have enough confidence to make major decisions between the both of you they're pretending that they're okay with what's happening but they're not all right they're sad about it and they go back and forth should i let him or her go should i do something but this person's unworthiness is i rather do this alone they're sitting alone and they're sitting in their bed alone they're saving this may be something that they're not telling you that they may have money. They may have some money that they're saving and they're not telling you. So they're not telling you what they're doing, hey. This may be a surprise. They may want to surprise you and show you that they are this creator's energy, that they have stepped in their divinity and they could make things happen. But right now they can't face your words. They're very stubborn. You may have brought some truth to this person. Maybe you told them that they need to they need to solve their issues. They have fucking mommy and daddy issues and they need to get with it and they're create they're making something happen behind the scenes but they're they don't want to face your words right now they're very discouraged so they may have some truth to tell you about why they couldn't accept you or why they couldn't give you the love that you needed but right now the truth hurts that they weren't man or woman enough to make major or really important decisions about where to take this they were very confused so maybe they didn't want to seem like they didn't know what they were doing so they put up this emperor's image or this emperor's um i heard mentality so they may have talked all that good game but their actions was missing and that that's embarrassing for them they feel like a fraud or they fraud you oh my god this person is torn up i recognize who you are <gasps> This person knows. So maybe they were confused. Maybe they had other um, options in their life. They could have had a false twin flame. There was a false twin flame or a false soulmate. Maybe they were already committed to someone or they were seeing someone. Maybe the mother of the children, the father of their children as their soulmate because kids was involved. They may have had businesses or money tied together and they thought like, hey, I saw my mom and pops do it or I saw my grandparents or I saw other people in relationships like that and they were happy but that may have fell apart or they were not happy with that with the four of cups they what they got what they wanted but they were not satisfied and they may have tried to juggle you with this situation as long as they could but they dropped the ball or you you was like nope nope so you may have stepped into your self-worth and decided to glow up on this person. They recognize who you are. So maybe they knew who you were, but someone else was in their life. Could be masquerading because we have mask and fakeness. So this person was duped and it had them confused for a while, but their feelings for you never changed. And that was confirming to this person who you are. They may be very ashamed that they did not choose you, that they were wrong. Oh, shit, Sonny. So they're changing their life. They're changing their life. Somebody else could have had them by the balls or by the pussy because I feel like somebody was guilt tripped into a pregnancy or they were guilt tripped that they had to show up for children. So if your person has children, 
their, the other parent was guilt tripping your person to stay. And they thought that they were doing the best thing for their children because of what they saw or what their, their, one of their parents could have been telling them, you just need to stay with them. You guys just, you guys have children. Stick around. But they were not happy. I was wrong and I'm working on making it right. Bad mind. This person, <laughs> listen, I feel like they want to seek revenge on the person that lied to them, that made them look stupid, that caused them to possibly lose you. They may be feeling very negative towards a parent that told them to stay in a relationship that had children involved. They feel like they messed up their life uh, following the advice of somebody that was bad-minded and it could be their, ch their children's parent. They were duped into sticking around in a situation that they were not happy. And now it's like they have to forgive that parent for giving them ill advice but there's vengeance they're really upset you know what they could be very um mad about a parent that did not stand up for themselves in their uh, uh relationship so you may be a very strong feminine a very strong divine feminine that stands up for yourself and their mother uh or grand parent did not show them that side and they're kind of like looking at them sideways like what kind of mother are you you didn't even have enough guts to protect me or protect yourself that could be something that's a, a dark truth hey for this person or you only you were very promiscuous um with multiple partners for money and now my divine feminine showed me what unconditional love is and you know you were using me She's telling me I, 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 this is how a man's supposed to be. Oh, you guys. I'm feeling like very angry. So they may be close to their mother. And now they're seeing that their mother was like a karmic. Or their mother influenced them to, to settle with a karmic. You guys, I'm like holding my fucking head right now. So they were living by other people's agenda and it, it confused the fuck out of them. But with the four of cups energy and the two of pentacles, they may have overextended themselves to the point where they feel low. And now they have time to really sit down and really reflect on the situation and they want reconciliation. They don't want to miss this opportunity. And if you give them another opportunity, they're going to step up and be the king of pentacles in your life. They're going to take that energy that they were putting in another situation and they're going to bring it, they're going to bring it stronger when they, if you give them a second chance, that's what I'm, that's what I'm picking up. If you give, if you give this person a second chance, they're going to come strong. All right, because guess what? They know they were wrong and they want to make it right. They want to rebuild. They want to step up. I'm getting like goose chills, goose pimples, goose bumps, chills, spiritual chills, whatever you want to freaking call it. This person is going to drop the mask and I feel like they're going to keep this private between the both of you for a little while. And when you guys like really build or when they feel very confident in you and them, they, they're going to show everybody what, who gives them this emperor's energy. They want to meet your children. For some of you that have a child with your divine masculine and they were pulled away from you because of karmics, they want to do something. Listen, I want partnership. It won't always be easy or perfect. I just know if the good outweighs the bad, it will be well worth it. This person knows you belong no they know they belong to you it says seek resolutions and never revenge jealous friends hateful ex harmful family members that brought toxic energy listen this person is going to show you off they, they they're not going to ever stop talking to you uh to the same people that did give them ill advice about you guys' relationship or connection because nobody didn't understand. Nobody understands your uniqueness but your your um twin lover. All right. This person is going to marry you 
this is for some of you this person is going to marry you and give you everything that these people con them out of holy shit they may even separate themselves from these people just to devote their life to you listen afraid of my emotions love makes me want to risk everything and that scares me everything i was taught will i be left with nothing but they're left with nothing now new lifestyle they're gonna turn up all right they're gonna surrender to this love Ooh, child i'm telling you that that blake sheldon i don't want to breathe without you i don't want to breathe without you mm -hmm. i don't want to wake up no i have many regrets that second verse from blake sheldon they have been wasting many days and many nights, but he's not, he or she is not willing to risk another minute. Oh, shit. Ooh, this is Pisces. Please don't give my loving away. Keep it sacred. They know that someone else is around you that's very established. I'm either all in or I don't even care. Either you feel all of me or it's like I'm not even there. Listen, this is confirmation, divine feminine. If you could feel this divine masculine all the time, it's because this divine masculine is all in. I'm going to repeat that. If you could pick up your divine masculine all the time, and when you feel that void and that wave comes and hits you and it's really strong that it brings you to tears, is because this divine masculine that's coming through today on my channel is all in. Do you get what I'm saying? They're hoping that you don't tell them no. They have a lot of things that they, they need to pour out their heart to you, Divine Feminine. <laughs> it says, your sexiness, my worst distraction. You're my muse. I'm aroused every time I'm around you. <laughs> I must be crazy. Everything about us makes sense. Awakening. I don't want to live without you. I don't want to even breed without you. Oh my God. Ooh, child. I'm going down. This person missed your sweet voice. Yup. The truth is out. This person may have had pride issues, but it's, listen, this passion melts the sun. Whatever passion this person has, it melts the sun and the truth is going to shine. They know that the most high divine is on, on this really, this connection side. I'm going to cry. <laughs> you help them to illuminate the negativity, the toxicity within their family. If they were pulled apart from a karmic because of children, because of money, you have illuminated the truth about that. And they're deeply saddened that they were even juggling you. I am shaken, you guys. I am shaken. You have illuminated the bad-minded people, the wickedness in this person's life, and they love you. They love you. They love you. You are my heart. You are my peace. You helped me to love me even when I didn't love myself. Who you guys? I'm gonna leave it there. <laughs> that was tears of joy. Tears of joy. So I'm gonna label it that. This is a surprise, divine masculine energy. This person is coming for you, and they don't want you to tell them no. I feel like they want to propose to you, but they are afraid that you might tell them no because they left you confused. And um, they may have humiliated you. They know that even if you don't talk about it. They know that they humiliated you because they had low self-esteem. But you play well with their, ch their inner child. And they feel really like a child again. You help them to relive their childhood the way that they were supposed to. And I don't know if you guys might have twins or if you're going to have twins. But they're billing their money. 
and they're building a new lifestyle for the both of you. Check out Bl Blake Sheldon with Gwen Stefan. I don't remember the title. Go on, big up yourself for all the true twin flamers in the house that is going to be working together in the near future. Congratulations for all the twin flamers that are in union right now and now working on their life purpose. You give this person life purpose and they need that. They never had anyone like you. You help them to see their divinity. You help them to grow into their emperor's clothes. All right? So I'll see you guys in another channel message. Chat to you guys later. Ciao.